to my channel, so me and my best friends got invited to the VIP opening of one of the pop-up museums called Cheat Date Land here in LA. And I'm just going to take you guys on this little get ready with me. Uh, so first, I'm going to start off with my hair. This is the unit that I created with Hair Vivi. Her name is Rain, and I'll have all her information, coupon codes, and direct links down below. To apply my unit today, I'm going to use my go-to combo, which is the clear got to be glue and the free spray. If you guys want a detailed video on how I apply, take off, all of that, I will leave the videos down below in the description box. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this unit and then I'm going to work on the baby hairs a little bit later because on my original video, I just did the unit fresh out of the box to show you guys that it's definitely possible. But in this video, I'm going to go ahead and customize the baby hairs a little bit to my liking. Swaying in the spotlight Makes me feel so good inside Oh baby, don't ever talk about the Things that are everlasting Oh baby, we won't ever last Hope that we're in that mood When you teach me how to dance And I'm just a young and fool. So while my wig is setting in place, I'm going to go ahead and begin my makeup. I'm going to start off by priming my face with the um, Fenty Pro Filter Primer and I like to mix it with the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I just love the way it makes my hair feel. Uh, my hair. I'm so used to doing hair videos. I just love the way it makes my skin feel. Um, and then because Mother Nature did me dirty this month and a few of my little eczema patches popped up and a lot of pimples popped up on my chin, I'm going to go ahead and color correct with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the color Caramel or Caramel, however you guys choose to say it. And then I'm going to use my favorite foundation at the moment, which is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in the shade Butter Pecan. Eyebrows I did off camera, but I just used the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Chocolate. Um, I just be having to get real close to the mirror when I do my eyebrows, so it's usually out of frame. Um, and then to go ahead and prime my lids, I'm just going to use the Age Rewind Concealer. This one is in the color Golden, which is a shade lighter than Caramel. Um, and then I'm just going to set that with the CoverGirl Translucent Powder. And then I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill Palette with Morphe. This is her first collaboration with Morphe. Um, and yeah, I'm going to list all of the shades for you guys and things down below. So first I'm going to start up um, with a transition shade and use Silk Cream. And then to go into my crease in the outer V, I'm going to use Roxanne. Darling, but loser, ain't gonna lose ya. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Darling, but loser, ain't gonna lose ya. Then I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and blend both of those shades together and then I'm going to kind of carve out my lid kind of like a cut crease um, or exactly like a cut crease y'all I'm not a makeup guru um, but yeah I usually would use a cold pencil to do my smoky eye but it was upstairs and I didn't feel like going upstairs so I'm just using the golden um, age rewind concealer to just make this um, a little more neutral and a little bit more one color just so I can get the black color which is a best to pop once I place it on top. 
like I do under my tattoos. It's a remedy, remedy, remedy. And the way you go, baby, don't you know? There's a remedy, remedy, remedy. Yeah, yeah. A remedy, remedy, yeah. Oh, no. So I'm gonna go ahead and smoke the black out, and then go ahead and do my normal um, highlight and contour routine. Everything will be listed, you guys. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through this part. Keep on driving and driving along the roads and then lost my head on Vilma's back between the jars and bottle jug. Just me and all the red lights. Keep on driving and driving. To line my lids, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. And then to highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter Dual in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I just mixed them together. I'm just gonna pop this on my cheekbones. I'm gonna use it in the corner of my eye and also under um, my eyebrow and on the bridge of my nose. To my waterline, I'm just gonna add Roxanne first, which was the kind of brick color, and then Abyss, which is the black color right under that. It's never gonna stop I can't help myself from feeling all alone But you got me good Or you got me good For lashes, I actually ordered these off eBay. If I find the link, I will definitely link it down below. And then to apply them, this is my absolute favorite eyelash glue by Pure. And I love it. After I apply my lashes, I always like to go over the band um, with my liquid liner just to make sure in case the glue dried weird or anything like that. And then I'm going to line my lips first with this MAC Lip Liner in Cork and then go on top of that with the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in Plunge. And then I'm going to use the NYX uh, Intense Butter Gloss in Peanut Brittle. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh Finish off my face like always I'm going to use my Pacifica Rose Water Hydro Mist And then we're going to make our way back to our hair um, So now that our hair is nice and set and the gel is dried in place We're just going to go ahead and customize the front a little bit more So I like to part this section out before I um, tie my hair down Just so I can get it to lay forward And then I'm just going to go ahead and pull some of the hair um back into the into the hair part I guess just because I had too much pulled out 
want to go ahead and take my razor and trim up uh, baby hairs that are going to be there and then take my lovely beast edge control and just slick those little hairs down so yeah this is the end of the get ready with me you guys um everything that i have on from the hair to the makeup to the outfit will be down below with uh links in instagrams and everything like that and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's more snippets of the museum at the end. So yeah, if you want to check those out, go ahead. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Oh yeah. I just let me know.